talk to me about just your initial reaction when uh, you heard this come down from our governor. Exactly. I, I was thrilled, very excited. Um, you know, it's going to be a, a huge process to try and vaccinate all the, the people of our state. And there just are not enough health care providers to be able to do that. And dentists are very high, highly qualified trained to be able to do that, whether we do it in um, surge clinics, um, fairgrounds, wherever they um, need us to come in to be able to help provide that service, I think is going to be a, a great opportunity. Um, and, um, you know, at, at some point, maybe administration in, off, in private offices, but for right now, I see us helping out in the community clinics, in the fairgrounds, wherever they're hosting um, vaccine clinics to help us uh, provide the service for, for the um, people of California. In terms of access, what does opening up dentists and providing this waiver do for, uh, for the general public, for the ability to uh, administer the, the vaccine in uh, large numbers? Right. Well, you know, dentists, we're very well equipped to be able to give a vaccine. You know, we give injections in the mouth, which is a, a warm, dark environment with all kinds of anatomy that, um, you know, has risks in giving those injections, you know, on a daily basis. So for us to be able to provide a vaccine in the arm to a patient is, is really a, a great thing for us. It will be an easy transition for us to make. But I think the, big, the better part of this is, is helping, helping our healthcare providers in terms of the numbers of people we need to get vaccinated. And to get everybody vaccinated, you've got to get all hands on deck. And our healthcare providers right now, they're overwhelmed with the, their work at the hospitals and dealing with patients that are COVID positive and who are ill. And so for those of us who can get out into the communities and provide these vaccines, it's just going to make that time that we can and the numbers of people we can vaccinate faster that much better. We've heard uh, in some hospitals that there have been a number of vaccine doses that have uh, essentially fallen to the wayside because of either uh, temperature restrictions and those sorts of things. Um, while you know this is a, a positive that this waiver comes through today, do you think it should have come through sooner? Well, you know, the vaccine process is just getting started. And so, you know, we would have loved to have been in on, on the initial get-go, but, you know, they've been administering the vaccine, what now, for two or three weeks. And so, um, you know, we've been, been hoping for a long time that we would be able to give vaccines, whether we give flu vaccines in our offices or other immunizations and so forth. But for right now, our focus is on COVID. And I think as we get the wheels turning of the vaccine process, um, having more people to be able to provide these vaccines and, you know, maybe even some of our staff come in and help with registration and getting them signed up for their next appointments. Um, there's just a lot of opportunity to bring in the, the dental um, community to help with the service. Is this something that has ever happened before where dentists were giving out vaccines? Not in my 35 years of practice have I ever seen this, no. Wow. At least not in California. Now, there are probably some other states where maybe that's happened. I know Oregon's been on board a little bit longer in terms of having a waiver to give vaccines. Um, but in California, no, I have, have never given a vaccine or had the ability. It was out of our scope of practice for a while until we had the waiver. Uh, but it speaks to the current situation in our, in our Absolutely. state. Absolutely. It speaks to the crisis that we're in and needing to get all hands on deck. Do you think that this could turn into a, a, a long term uh, uh, or maybe not long term, but do you think this could turn into some, some sort of a permanent situation where, you know, like you were saying, perhaps doctors could, could give, you know, uh, flu inoculations, those sorts of things? Absolutely. Um, I don't see any reason why not. You know, mm -hmm. there are more um, more people who see their dentists more regularly than they see their health care providers. And so if um, you know, this continues to be a, a service that we can provide um, and can manage the, um, you know, all of the regulations and the storage and you know, the purchasing and all that, I mean, there's a lot that goes into that, but I absolutely see that that could be a, another service that we would be able to provide. You know, we see patients every six months, some more, some, some more frequently, you know, some are in every three or four months for a hygiene recare visits. So, there's certainly an opportunity with the relationships that we build with our patients to be able to provide that service for them. I mean, imagine going to the dentist, it's the fall, you haven't had the flu shot. Yeah, I'll take my flu shot. Why not? Exactly. You go to get your teeth cleaning and get your flu exactly. shot as well. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think, uh, any, anything I haven't asked, anything you'd like to add? Um, no, I think at this stage of the game, you know, it's, uh, it was great news for us today. Um, you know, I know all of us as, as dentists and healthcare providers, we're anxious, you know, with our, to get our vaccines also and to get in line for that. 
And, um, you know, so it obviously it has to go to the healthcare providers and the hospitals first, but, um, you know, we're certainly hopeful that we can get into our line in the tier also and get our vaccines. You know, we've done really, really well with infection control and upped our um, personal protective equipment. And, you know, going into the dentist, it's a very safe place in terms of infection control and um, have seen very, no transmission cases that I'm aware of um, or have seen in studies in a dental office. But, um, you know, we are in an environment where asymptomatic patients could potentially be coming in and exposing us. So it would sure be nice for us to be able to get the vaccine as soon as possible. Yeah, you have really one of the highest risk uh, jobs out there because you're literally face to face with people Absolutely. Uh, every day. But it also shows that wearing a mask and wearing the PPE works. Um, you know, we wear, wear um, you know, the N95 masks and shields and, you know, we're wearing gowns and, you know, head caps and, you know, all this stuff. And, um, you know, the fact that I've been practicing now, I, I saw patients for emergencies and we were closed down, but through all of that, and I, I have not been, um, been sick at all. And so I think it really goes to show that good infection control and good management and the PPE does work. Absolutely. Well, it's good to hear too. I hope you uh, stay well. Uh, Thank great you. To hear. My, my last question was, would be, I know you talked about um, uh, dentists essentially right now, what we're kind of looking at would be going to, you know, potentially parking garages or universities, um, mass vaccination sites to help out um, with those. Would there be uh, opportunity then later to actually do the vaccinations at, at their own um, clinic sites, wherever you have your yeah. office? You know, um, I, I think that's absolutely a potential for us. Um, you know, the I think the biggest um, challenge will be the refrigeration, especially if the Pfizer vaccine, you know, most of us just aren't going to have that kind of refrigeration in our offices to be able to provide that. Um, so potentially the Moderna that needs, um, you know, more standard refrigeration that might be of, of a possibility. Um, but I think right now, um, the goal is to help us provide, um, you know, vaccines in, um, you know, clinic based surge situations at this stage of the game. So looking forward, possibly, but um, I, that's a, a hard one to give you a definitive answer on at this stage of the game.